Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we want to explore some of the options available by connecting different objects within your BuildBox game. Now, you can access connection mode by holding the Alt or Option key, which will show the connections while you hold that key, or by clicking this toggle switch in the top right of the scene editor. To connect objects, simply click the circle in the root of the object and drag to another object and release. The connecting object circle will turn red, and when you connect these objects and exit out of connection mode, the objects will now move together, even if you just click and move one of these objects. They'll move together in the scene editor, and they'll also move together throughout gameplay. So this allows you to create custom groups of objects to move and interact in your game. Now, another cool option is the connection line motor. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to move this box over here, and I'm going to go over to my objects, and I'm going to bring in a couple wheels. So I'll bring this in, I'll scale it down a little bit, and then I'll just duplicate it and move this over here. Now, if I enter connection mode and connect these objects, I can designate these two connected objects as wheels. To do that, I'll click the connection line, and this will bring up the motor options in the options bar on the right. I can set the speed, which is how fast the motor turns the connected object. So I'll set this to two, for example. And then I can set the torque, which is the torque of the motor turning the connected object. I can also set this to be button activated, meaning that if I select this, the motor will only be active when a button is pushed. So basically I could set these wheels to auto rotate on a motor or enable this only by a push button switch. So I've removed a couple items from my scene because I wanna show you what we can do when we set both of these objects as wheels in the option bar and then we've set each of these connection motors to auto drive at sort of a slow speed and added some torque options and connected everything to this box here. So I'm just gonna click the preview button and you can see even though our game has advanced forward, I now have this little car creation that I've made that is auto driving and is attempting to navigate uh, these three connected boxes that I've added into my game. So very quickly you can create custom objects, connect those objects with one another, and even set them up to be motorized and do crazy cool stuff like creating a custom little vehicle very quickly and easily. Finally, to delete any connections, simply select the connection by clicking on it and hit the delete or backspace key. Thanks for watching.